freaking giant. God almighty. Dang, I love breaking rods. Been staring at a screen for the past four years and I have caught some giant fish. But if you didn't know, last August I had to sell my live scope. And since then I've been kinda just in a, a depression, so to say. So this is a new series on the channel. We're gonna start with the basics and we're gonna work our way back up until hopefully I can grow this channel enough to be able to afford to buy another live scope. I mean, let's face it, I can catch them without it. That, I'm, I'm not afraid to catch them without it. And I know I can do it. It's just getting out here doing it when I'm so used to just chasing that one blob, you know, like I'm trying to find the biggest fish in the lake versus getting out here and just fishing. So, this is a brand new series. You're gonna learn a ton, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Like the video if you're gonna enjoy this series. So basically, we got here this morning. My back transducer's broke. I guess the other day when I went bass fishing, the back transducer's broke, so I've, I've gotta fix it. So I, I don't have side scan. Uh, I don't have a way to go check brush piles. So we're gonna do what I think's right right now and go fish a bridge it should be a lot of pre-spawners and there should be some spawners so they should be going in and out of that bridge hopefully there's some giants there maybe but we do have 2d and down scan up front but that's all we're working with we're working with our instincts we're working with trying to figure out the depth that the fish are at and that's the whole goal for this video is to figure out a bite and teach you guys how to do it Just to show you that I ain't lying, just real quick. Sonar, ain't nothing working. I mean, the transducer's not even in the water, so. All we got is chart right here. And I ain't even got the good map, I just got blobs. <laughs> so, we're gonna try to hit a couple brush piles also, but I'm probably gonna end up finding them at a bridge or something. So the situation we have right now, we've had a big cold front come in. It was 32, 34 yesterday morning. It's like 40 something this morning. And the water temps dropped probably, I don't know, about eight degrees since. Like the shallow water was up in the 60s, but now it's in like the 54s. And out here in the main creek, it's uh, 57 on the, on the old 2D Garmin but one of my favorite things to do during the spawn time is to target areas that are somewhere where that fish has got to go through to go spawn and bridges are definitely one of the the top areas for that they you know they come out the main river or the creek channel they're going to go through this bridge in order to get somewhere to spawn and the cool part is if we've already had some spawn they're going to come right back through here so you're kind of going to get both ends of the deal if they're on this bridge but with a cold front that came through they should have pushed a little bit back not too far and we should be able to find some on this bridge somewhere freaking giant god almighty have the camera on yet dang I love breaking rods get in here dang ACC's man dang it ain't but a pound and a half fish nice fish slab right there guys <laughs> now i gotta dig my other rod out oh yeah yeah good start though rig back up that's my last acc i've broken eight accs in the past two years 
But what we got is a ugly stick, crappy rod, seven footer. What I caught that fish on was the OG monkey milk. Uh, the, the ACC has six pound test, so this one's got four, but that should be fine. I hate I broke it because I really just wanted to, you know, use my 10 foot pole and mess around. But we'll break out this rod and see what we can do with it. That one dumped the crap out of it, so there may be a few fish here. Maybe I should invest in a net in this boat. <laughs> Straighten them out. OG monkey milk. Nice slab, probably pound 20. Probably about 11 inches. About the same spot I caught the other one, so. Might be a little stack of them right there. What I got is a, a 164 and a little bit of split shot. Got a, got a little bit of wind, probably four or five mile an hour wind coming in. Just pushing that bait into this bridge. So I don't, I don't think they're on fire, but for that size, waiting a little bit ain't too bad. seen one on the the down image about six feet and i adjusted the length of my cast and he thumped the crap out of it let's get in here boy heck yeah dude number three quality quality Another probably 11, 11, 12 incher. Yeah, that one was about six feet down. Feels like there's something right here in the water. I mean, I'm not sure, but I keep like, the top of my jig keeps touching just a little bit of something. And as I'm ticking it and I came up, he barely, 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 tapped it and we got him Thank you. 
giant. <laughs> Good fish, good fish. Crap out of it. Got the trolling motor. Giant, there's another guy here. I'm trying not to talk too loud. <laughs> another pound eighty. Look at that fish. <laughs> Heck yeah. Tying here to the bridge, so maybe the trolling motor won't mess with them too bad. I believe they're coming in and out though. You just gotta be here at the right time. <laughs> really wish I had a net. It's too big to flip. With the rod, I'll do it with the line. <laughs> Another freaking groaning guy. <laughs> I've been fishing bridges for probably half of hell more than my half of my life. It, it ain't nothing but a thing to get out here and catch them without live scoop. Not as hard as people are making it out to be. Slabs. <laughs> 